Hey, I'm Steven Harrell with Tiny House Listings, and today in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a do it yourself washing machine with two five gallon buckets and a plunger. Hopefully, a new one. Stay tuned. You can get five gallon buckets from just about anywhere. A lot of times, you can find them for free uh, in the dumpster or other places. I got these from Home Depot for I think $2.50 each. These are actually the exact same um, buckets that I used in a previous video where I was making paper logs. As you can see, the steam coming off of these from the heat. I want to back that away. But um, the only thing is, these two need to be the same shape and size so one can fit into the other. In one bucket, I've drilled one eighth inch holes throughout, just spread out evenly across, but not too many to where I'll be compromising the integrity of the, the strength of this bucket when we put it in under pressure. And uh, I've actually done it on the, the bottom as well. As you can see, this is dirty. I'll be cleaning this up before I put dirty clothes in into it to wash. And so this bucket, fits into that bucket and this is where we'll be putting our clothes. The next part of the project is we need to drill holes throughout this plunger and this will act as the agitator to help actually um, clean the clothes. Without the holes in there this project won't work. The next piece we we'll need to this project is a lid to go over this. And this will prevent the water from spilling out while we're actually washing the clothes. Then we'll drill a hole through here in the middle for the actual plunger handle to fit through. Now I've got some dirty clothes in there and the next thing we'll do is fill this up with water and add some detergent. I'll be using organic uh, biodegradable detergent because the water is going to be spilled on the ground. And in the future I'm going to show you guys a really cool soak away slash do it yourself septic tank to pour this water into that, uh, you know, if you're off grid or that type of thing. This is what it looks like after you wash it. So now I'm going to uh, rinse it and then empty and then rinse again. So I'll be rinsing twice to make sure all these suds are out of there. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention is that you might want to do the agitating, the, the washing part, about at least 10 minutes. I noticed after about two or three minutes in my pants, there's all kinds of dirt in the knees where I just uh, was on the ground that was still there. Then after 10 minutes, every bit of it was gone. And this is the good part about this whole system. Once you've rinsed, let this drain and then once the majority of that water has gotten out you can take your second bucket and sit on it and if you're super serious about making sure your clothes are rinsed even more than sitting on it and squeezing all the water out you can take a line hang it from a tree or whatnot make sure it's good line a uh, thick line that's it can be twisted a bunch like for this is for instance this is a uh, bank line you can just attach, well, I'll show you here in just a second. So you can see I've got all my clothes attached and you just spin it. Keep giving it good spins. And it's hard to do with just one hand but you can get this thing going really fast so the water will come out. And once you take this out, you can just hang it on the line like you normally would. Then you have clean, relatively dry clothes. Total project cost about 10 bucks. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.